What's going on everybody? It's Rocco with Rocco's Modern Survival. I am back again with another video. Today we're going to be doing a quail feeder. Um, this is all, this is just a 98 cent uh, tote from Walmart. Yes, there is a <laughs> Gorilla Tape over this section right here and on the inside as well because um, I drilled the hole just a little too small or a little too low and I wanted it more high like this. I didn't want it too high to where it would affect the uh, top coming on. But I did want it high enough to where it put enough feed in here. The quail can stick their head in, and uh, it's got a good two. Let's get this measurement here for you guys. Um, let me find. It. There it is. Two and one eighth. All right. Um, I just used a hole saw drill and uh, drilled holes in here. Now a lot of people say don't make them. You don't need to make them two more, any bigger than like an inch, inch and a half. But um, I want to. I, they, they do need to get it in there, shake their head around, because that's just how they eat. All right, this gets them in there. They can shake their head around. They won't be wasting any food because it'll still be going inside this hole. All right, it'll still be inside the tote. I'm not too worried about it. Um, I don't think this will be a problem. This part right here. Um, I just, I, I just don't feel like it's going to be a problem. If it is, then I'll fix it. I was going to add this pipe to it. Uh, this pipe is about two inches uh, round, but. Um, it would fit in there if I super glued it, but I just don't think I need to. I'm going to see how this would, I mean, I have to cut it. I just can't go all the way back in there because their, their heads won't fit in there. Um, it only need to be about that big right there where I started the cutting it. But I want to see how they work with this one first before I add the plastic pipes to it. I, I don't feel like I'm going to need the pipe, but we'll see if we do. So let's fill this thing up and see how it looks, okay? Okay, so I did notice one little thing when I filled it up, is the pipe would stop it from coming over the edge right here. Um, so if we had it in there, we could kind of, we could fill it up a little bit more. But this is about five days worth of feed right here uh, with my three quail. So I think we're just going to leave it the way it is and see how, see how it works. And like I said, if it comes to where I have to actually put the pipe in, I'll put the pipe in. And uh, so let's see how the quail uh, uh, actually like it, all right? And yes, I am going to drill a hole in the top of this right here. Uh, and I'm not going to put a huge pipe in it, but I am going to put some kind of pipe in it to where I can fill it up easier, maybe. Or I'm just going to leave it just the way it is, pop the top off and fill it up. So I'm not really sure. So let's jump into the quail cage and see how everyone's doing today and switch out your feeders. And my little buddy, my trusty companion, is going to follow me out there. She is always with me, she, even though she's the neighbor's dog. Her name is China. And just like always, I'm getting greeted by the chickens. They are kind of everywhere today, just kind of doing their own thing, like always. Uh, oh, let's do our daily count. One, two, three, four. Where are the rest of you? Four. I see four. Why do I only see four? Okay, I got to put this down. I got to figure out where the rest of my other two are. Shut the door here so they don't get out. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. There she is. <laughs> I did not see her, and I did not see these two over here. So what you you doing? Really? You gonna tell me all about it? Are you gonna tell me all about it? What you gotta say, huh? You stuck? You're not stuck. I don't wanna hear you're stuck. So they are really rooting up down here. They're really tearing it up, doing a good job. I did get them more feed today, by the way. Um, we got them some crumble. I did not get them the uh, traditional uh, stuff I've been getting, the, uh, the, the pellets. I dropped the one clip. Um, I'm going to give them the quail feed because we're going to switch this feeder out. Oh, and they've really been getting into their uh, feed up here. Those idiots. That's all right. Gobble, gobble, gobble. I kind of put this up here and they've really been roosting on it. So it is what it is. I'll put that out there to give them some stuff to, to comb through. Where did I put the feeder? The feeder's over here. Sorry, I'm losing everything. I'm talking to the birds and I'm uh, forgetting what I'm doing. And they love the rabbits, by the way. I don't know why they love getting up there with the rabbits so much, but they really do. So, 
there is the new feeder i do feel it's gonna do a little better they're still not laying eggs i don't know why it's really starting to irritate me i need to clean their water out holy crap they got it dirty that is some dirty water um i'm gonna clean that out right now we should probably <laughs> we need to do that and the chickens are going crazy i love when the chickens go crazy it means they are gonna be scratching that up so we'll let these girls go through their new feeder and well, girls and boys and hopefully they they start producing some eggs soon i'm getting really irritated with no eggs i really am because i like quail egg if you've not had a quail egg i highly suggest you try quail eggs because they are super good um i actually need to shut this i'm gonna go off and take care of the rabbits here for a minute um the rabbits on the other hand now what let me tell you about these guys they're about one of them is about to get lucky today because i got to breed one of the females today so i think it's going to be this guy my trusty buck and uh, i always had i always go slow with him because he did bite me one time but he bit me because the uh, female i put in his cage was just so aggressive she was such a butthole um and then he bit me because I, he did not want me putting her in there. And I did not realize. And you're pecking my shoe again. Um, I'm sorry. I'm in your way. I'm sorry. But uh, he bit me one time. It hurt like the dickens. But a rabbit bite is going to hurt. I, I can't help. You know, it's just going to happen. But, uh, oh, did you chicken scare you a little bit? Yeah, you go to your hidey hole. He has his hidey hole here. I try to clean it out because he does poop in it. He needs some more feed. He's getting a little low. Um... No, oh, I was like, what is that noise? It's the, it's Rosie, the other dog, the other Boston Terrier. She must see a cat. And uh, if you're going to put lemons inside your compost pile, don't do it. Lemons take so long to break down. It's not even funny. Like, they just take forever to break down. And I just realized I left a um, clip on the ground down here. Oh, I can't bend down. And I don't want those idiots getting into it. I don't want them eating it because they're not sometimes the smartest now this guy is my little adventurer yes you are he loves trying to get out of his cage um his food is a little wet i don't know why he is shedding or he's not shedding but he's getting ready for um oh they pooped in your water dish darn them i gotta clean that out now um they he has they're, they're both really doing it hardcore they're getting ready for winter you know what i will switch your water out later because i can't do it with one hand um they're getting ready for winter so they're blowing out their fur they're doing it the females are doing it and i would like for him to get lucky today but he may have got lucky a couple weeks ago with the other two females or with one of the other females i think it was the black and white one or the I think it was the black and white one. Because um, I normally put the brown one, Jacob's, with the gray one over there. So I think he got the black and white one. I can't remember because I did them both at the same time. But um, one thing we're going to do with this, guys, is we are going to blow out the... Uh, I just said blow out. I was talking about their fur. But we're going to take down this wall and that wall um, in springtime. We're going to take all of this off right here. And I'm actually going to extend this out about another three compost piles because we're going to add their girlfriends to this. And we're going to um, make the chickens a lot bigger uh, area and they're going to enjoy it. And we're going to uh, be able to raise more animals inside of here. And that's one thing I really am looking forward to doing is raising even more chickens and turkeys and stuff like that inside this inside this compost pot area because i tell you what this is so easy i just bought them another 50 pound bag of feed the chickens here what what do you want down there and i just bought them oh you went out i just bought them another 50 pound bag of feed because the feed's getting kind of low oh, close it up a little bit and i haven't bought them feed i know you went out i haven't bought them feed in four months or more because they just eat off this compost and they do eat the quail feed and they eat the rabbit feed that the rabbits don't eat or I don't, if they get a little wet, I don't, you know, I, I pour it out for them. So um, they just kind of eat everything. And I do throw the, the excess deer or um, excess uh, rabbit fur in here and they eat on that. They eat the flies and the larvae from that. I mean, I had a, uh, 
I had seven in here the other day, about two weeks ago. Sorry about that. About two weeks ago. And it was in this pile right here. And that is the only thing left of it. I had seven darn furs in here. And that one right there is the only one left. So that's not bad. These girls have really, they tear through them. They do their thing. They, uh, they really dig out everything. They dig out all the, all the worms and maggots, the, uh, the larva of everything you could possibly imagine is living inside of here. They are digging through it. I do have to go through and clean up the walkway again. I just did it yesterday and it is already completely dug out again. And so they really enjoy it. They like doing that. And so I just do it for them. I just, I, I, t I clean this up, throw it back on the compost pile. They go through it again. They find new things. Um, see, she's scratching right there. And so it's just one of those things. I mean, if, if you love animals, which is one thing I had to tell my son yesterday, because he's having a real attitude. You know, he's 13 now, so he's got that 13 attitude. You just want to smack out of him all the time. But uh, <laughs> the um, he, he's having a hard time feeding the, their dogs. And it's my parents' dogs, but he, it's his responsibility to feed them. So... Because it's, it's giving him responsibility. You know what I mean? And he he doesn't... He ha, they have three water bowls. And they, he doesn't want to fill all three water bowls. Because he doesn't think he should. I'm like, buddy... They're, they're animals. They need treated with respect just as much as you do. And I was like, if you, want, if, if you would be in that situation where you were in a cage. And you had dirty water. You're going to peck my foot, aren't you? No, you thought about it. And you had dirty water... Would you not want someone to clean your water for you and uh, give you, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh, no, 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 Miss Lee. No, 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 Miss, <sighs> yeah, you get out of there. I was like, <laughs> she was trying to get out. I was like, would you not want someone to clean your water up and respect you enough to give you clean water? And uh, he was like, yeah, I guess so. I was like, no, there's no I guess so to it. There's, yes, you would. And um, I thought, you know, it was like animals need respect. It needs just as much respect as humans do because they do a lot f more for you than a person can do. You know, they can give you, the, they give you their body for their food. Uh, they lay their eggs for their food. A, do a dog doesn't really do that, but a dog gives you companionship. You know, a dog's not going to turn his back on you and uh, walk away from you. A dog's always going to be there for you. So it's just, it was just one of those teachable moments that you, uh, Sometimes you got you got to drill into their heads because they're a teenager and they don't like to listen to you. But yeah. Oh no, you don't. Don't be chewing on that. What are you doing? Uh, sorry guys. These guys are really get they're just being troublesome today. Um, what are you chewing on? Don't be chewing on stuff. Um, so I, I gotta get off here and take care of these guys because they are just I'm messing up their morning routine because I'm not just getting right into everything. So like always, guys, I hope you had a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed the quail video. It wasn't a very long video. But just remember that we're going to see how this feeder works. Um, the two and an eighth inch holes. And then if we have to, we'll put in the plastic, the, the tubing and all that. So uh, we'll see how these guys do with it. And uh, I hope it works. All right. Like always, have a wonderful day. God bless. Like and subscribe the channel if you could, please. And just remember that we are all out there together and let's try to help each other as much as possible. All right, guys, I want to sign off and just have a wonderful day.